new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me and watching my videos. If you want to subscribe, that would mean the world to me. I'm trying to build my channel up as much as I can and just share my love of makeup for you guys. Um, so today is, well today is actually my four year anniversary with my husband on our wedding. Um, He's not here, unfortunately. He had to go travel for work, but for a couple days back in San Francisco, but that's okay. I mean, we wouldn't probably do much anyway, and we're going to Vegas next weekend for um, Pippa's treatment, so we'll probably just go out to eat somewhere there and do our little celebration during that time, so that's okay. So it's just me and Pippa, and I figured I might as well um, film a video of my May, yeah, it's the end of May, May monthly haul. Um, it's not, completely uh, all here yet. I did have two or three or four orders maybe on their way. Um, so, you know, there's just so much here though because I think there were some sales and Ulta points and all sorts of crap going on that I just somehow amassed a huge ton of products to show you. It's just um, in a mess on my desk here, so that's what I'm looking at, and there's going to be no kind of order to this. I'm just going to grab and, you know, show you what I got um, and just share with you why I picked it. And I just wanted to mention how my hair, I haven't straightened my hair in months, probably, like maybe even a year, because I only have a straightener for when it's shorter and it kind of flips out and I need to straighten it. But I started straightening it again and I can't believe the difference it makes um, because my hair is usually very thick and wild and just wavy and just a crazy mess. Um, so I was like pleasantly surprised again how great the straightener will work on my hair and making it more, you know, smoother and silkier and nicer looking so just wanted to mention that um and if you are interested in my makeup today um i'm using the dominique cosmetics wine and berries and wine palette you know the the berry palette and um some bobby brown cream cheek products and becca bronzer and a buxom lip gloss so i uh, just wanted to mention that because i always you know never seem to tell you what i'm wearing um so let's get started. One of the purchases I made from Ulta was actually this uh, Ariana Grande perfume. Um, I don't even know, what is it called? Cloud or, here's the box, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> Cloud, I should have known because of the adorable bottle. So I'm not, you know, the hugest Ariana Grande fan, but I was so attracted to the packaging of this. I think it's so cute and fun and I don't care if it's kitty-ish. Um, and I think they were having like five times the points on fra fragrance or something at Ulta. And I had a little sample of it from a purchase at Ulta and I did like the set a lot so when they were having the extra points I was like just get the full size. Um, I don't know, if, I don't think this is the largest size but it is a pretty decent size here. Um, and it does smell nice and I just, you know, liked it for decoration purposes. I thought it came out of the cloud holder but I can't get it so anyway I got this perfume and I have more I'm sure or maybe those that was my last month's haul I can't think straight um I also picked up some more body shop um banana shampoo and conditioner um just as I was saying anything that seems to have banana scent I'm not the hugest like banana fan or anything but when it says it has a banana scent I want to try it body cream I want to try that perfume, the Comptoir, Sud Comptoir perfume or whatever. That's a vanilla banana scent. I don't have that yet, which I need to get. <laughs> but anyway, so I got um, the banana shampoo and conditioner. I, Because the conditioner, I think, was out of stock. One of these was out of stock. And one of them, so it came back in stock. They were having like buy one, get one 40% off on body shop product, products. And I just figured now I could get the shampoo and conditioner and use those and try those and it just looks like a banana smoothie that you can eat. Um, let's see here. I got one of these Cover FX new blushes. Um, I got it from Ulta because I think it, I'm just checking what Pippa's doing. Um, I think it arrived there first or I just wanted the points or something or other. Um, and I got the shade Spiced cinnamon. I was hard, it was hard to choose which shade to get, but I don't think that looks too, too dark. And it just looks so gorgeous. So it has this shimmery side on this side and like this matte, kind of warmer, dark, 
paper pink shade <laughs> um, over there. So, and it looks like a bar of soap. I believe Mel Thompson was saying that in her review of these. So I just started with one and we'll see how I like it and then maybe get another shade or two, but they are kind of pricey. So usually you should probably just wait for a sale. Um, I got this little sample from Sephora. It's the Clean Reserve Solar Bloom perfume. Um, I think it was a gift with purchase or something. And I've been wanting, I almost bought it in the travel size during the sale, but then when I saw it had the sample size, I was like, well, just get the sample because because I have so many perfumes. It's a rollerball and it smells nice. It smells kind of warm, fragrance scent. I also, this was from a bloom from Bloomingdale's purchase, um, the YSL Instant Matte Pore Refiner. So it's a new primer and you know supposed to mattify pores and I'm all about that and I just got the travel size because I just have so many primers there's no need to buy a full size primer and YSL is expensive so it's just like just do the little travel size and see if you like it. Um, this I think yeah this I got during the Sephora sale. Um, at the store and my local store inside JC Penney and it's their little eyeshadow palette the I love palettes and this is the jewel tones yeah the jewel tones eyeshadow palette so this is really you know affordable for Sephora brand of course um, I think $14 or something like that and plus I got the 20% off and I just think these shades are really gorgeous and jewel tones I'm just all about that so I can't wait to try this I heard the pigment and blendability of these shadows are really nice quality and you know for the price it's pretty pretty hard to beat um, I placed a BH Cosmetics order. I know I've said in the past I will never ever place another order from BH Cosmetics again because their shipping is just so freaking long and they messed up my order before and it took like a month for me to get like one item from them. But their sales are just, they're just so good and you know usually they beat Ulta's sales and everything so it's just like fine I'm gonna place an order and hope that it arrives in a timely fashion and it did it actually showed up I want to say maybe a week so I got three palettes um, I got two of the zodiac palettes not all of them have been like you know getting my attention only I only picked up well I like a third one but that wasn't on sale so I only got the ones that I was kind of liking the color scheme so I got Aquarius which is these pretty blues there so I haven't tried these yet so I'm interested to see how they how the quality is and I, I think these are just fun palettes they kind of remind me of the ColourPop palettes with their you know color focus scheme um there so this is Pisces and it has some greens and neutrals and pretty shades so these were the two that I picked up and I can't remember the other one that caught my eye it was one of the newer ones but it wasn't on sale yet, so I'll wait till that one goes on sale. And then I also got the Love in London eyeshadow palette. So I have the Hanging in Hawaii or something palette. And I wasn't going to get this one, but it was so on sale. So I was like, okay, yeah, just get it. It's, it's pretty anyway. And it has just these cool tone shades there. And I think the packaging is really cute. So I ordered those from BH Cosmetics earlier in the month. Just trying to make some room here. Um, let's see. I got this Milani powder and bronzer brush from Ulta. I don't know. I think I just needed to meet the minimum or something. So just another fluffy brush. Hoping it'll be nice for applying powder. Um, I also have another Sephora order that came from the sale. Uh, what did I get? I got... Well, the, these are the two items I could find right now. Um, I got... Game of Thrones Urban Decay Eyeliner and Dragon Smoke. It was sold out. Well, no. I ordered it with White Walker and they accidentally sent me two White Walkers and by then Dragon Smoke was sold out. So I was like, damn it, I missed it. But then they restocked them, of course. So I finally, I did manage to get my hands on one. It's just like a, like a blackish blue, purpley shade. I just wanted to have that shade because I thought it was pretty unique in my collection. I don't know if I'll use this because it's special packaging and 
whatnot. And I finally got the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Palette. This has been out for a while. It's currently on sale, and I figured with the discount, I'll get another 20% off. So why not? Um, and these shades are just really pretty. I wouldn't use them as highlighters because I'm just not that kind of girl. <laughs> um, I just feel like these would be really pretty like eyeshadows, and so I'll use it for that. The Fenty. And then, oh, I also got this from, I think this I ordered from Bloomingdale's or I'm not sure. The terra the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer, Blush and Bronzer, whatever it's called. I really like the wood packaging that they put this in. Um, last year it was a darker reddish wood color and this year it's like this blonde wood. So I really like how they changed it up and the print is just gorgeous. This paisley, beautiful gold overspray print there so I think they just kill it with their limited edition releases every year and I just love collecting them and finally this came to the US I think I ordered it from Saks it's the La Mer bronzer as well they release one every year that's limited edition so it has this pretty like sunflower sun pattern on the top there cover and then the inside is this mimicking pattern of bronzer shades so that's just gorgeous and I got that um oh I got the Dior new blush and glow blushes or something they have two shades coral and plum and they were going in and out of stock in all the department stores so I think hmm, I think it was Saks that had um Ebates had their I don't know anniversary rewards or something for a week and Saks was having like 15% uh, cash back so technically it was kind of like 15% off um so I got got it from there I thought it was going to come to Sephora in time for the Sephora sale but it hasn't yet so it's just such a beautiful glowy coral shade and just that bright pop of color so I kind of wanted the plum one too but I thought that might be a little bit too dark but I think you could pretty like shear it out or use a light hand because I've seen other people get both shades and love them so maybe I'll pick that one up eventually but let me just stay with that one for now um I got my Japan order from Food Aid Japan Toshia over there and he sent my order over so one of the items from him was this Laudere blush um and I had to get it because it has a Frenchie on the cover of course and so you get the case, the, the box, um, and then you get this, I don't, I don't want to tip it, this gorgeous, delicate rose blush um, separately. So I didn't know that, and it's so delicate and fragile. I don't, I, I'm assuming the whole product is the actual powder makeup that you just like dab your brush in and... It'll just crumble and break, um, which I am not going to do. Um, but yeah, I had to take it out of its separate packaging and so carefully put it in this because I was so afraid of like breaking one of the petals or chipping it. And what's the point of getting that for my collectibles if it just gets ruined? So I was like so nervous about that. And now I'm just ugh, worried that it's going to break. <laughs> I also picked up another lottery blush in... I don't know, mixed cheek color, but here's the box. This is beautiful, tropical vibe um, feeling, and there's three shades of this. I kind of wish I got another one, but so it's this cover here with the parrot, and the inside mimics the parrot. So I just think that is so pretty and just fun and really not expected from Lauderay for that. So usually, you know, so delicate and pretty and fragile. <laughs> but this, yeah, this was really fun. So, I don't know. They're kind of pricey, but I kind of wish I got a second shade. We'll see. Let's see. I got some other stuff from him, but it's all mixed in here somewhere, so we'll eventually get to it. Um, so I wasn't going to pick this up because I have the Too Faced Natural Love palette. And I love that palette. And I just was like seeing the new one the natural lust palette um this beautiful peacock <laughs> when i saw this i was like oh my god yes i need it because of 
this shade pretty much here. Um, I just like, I wish I had this palette instead of the natural love because I'm drawn to these shades more, but do I really need this palette because it is a lot of neutrals and it's not that many like different shades of color that, you know, I really, really absolutely need to have in my collection. Um, so I held off and I was like, no, I don't need it. I'm so proud of myself. I do not need to get that palette. But so many people in like, sorry, in YouTube videos and Instagram were just raving about this palette, how it's their go-to palette for just everyday looks, that they use it all the time, that they have to stop themselves from using it so much and move on to something new. And then I finally swatched it in store and it's just like, yeah, I freaking want that palette. <laughs> um, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, I haven't used it yet, but I am drawn to this these shades more than the natural love. I think the natural love is very soft and romantic and these are can definitely make just everyday neutral looks with this side of the palette and then you have like that green, the pink, and just like this chartreuse shade that are just fun pops of color to you know spice up a look and swatching it was just made me fall in love with it so Ulta had five times the points on Too Faced products so I was like freaking just get it. I'm trying to accumulate a lot of points just to like have a big haul eventually. Um, so I've just been buying a lot from Ulta lately. So I got that. Um, this is another Too Faced product I got, but I actually bought it from the website because I don't think they sell this at the other retailers. I think it's just Too Faced because they, part of the proceeds go to like some animal calls or something, which I think is wonderful. Um, I'm all about, you know, animal shelters and just rescuing the poor babies. Um, so I got the Glover highlighter and as soon as I saw this, I just knew I had to have it. I passed on the eyeshadow palette he made in the same shape packaging. Um, I thought that was really adorable and cute and I really wanted it, but then I was like, Lizzie, you don't need to have, you know, six brown tan eyeshadows just because of the packaging and I'm glad I waited because now he released the highlighter and this is just definitely calling to me um just love the packaging of course and the print is just so adorable how it has the print of the dog with the little hearts and ugh, it's kind of dark but I of course I'm not planning to use it anyway so uh it says be cool not cruel tf cruelty free so yeah so little over there but it's Glover so I got this packaging um, I did place a Beautylish order so if you saw my previous video a couple videos back we did a giveaway for Instagram with two other accounts over there um, and we gave away the Viseart Rosé edit eyeshadow palette um, as well as the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow palette and the Farsali Skin Mist. So um, I had to get the Viseart palette for myself as well. It's just, I haven't bought a Viseart palette in a really long time. And I almost bought the petite ones, the newer petite ones that they just released. Um, but I'm glad I waited because I heard that wasn't like, they weren't the best or whatever. Um, and then when they released these slightly larger palettes than those, but smaller than their normal 12 pans, um, I was like, yes, I need this. This is the rosé palette. I just think those pinks and that lavender shade oh, is just stunning. And I love how petite and compact this is. And it's just perfect for travel. Um, yeah, I just think it's super just cute and can just be quick on the go. And I think these colors are really pretty in summary, so I can't wait to use that. Um, I also got the Jeffree Star Northern Lights Highlighter Palette, Supreme Frost, Skin Frost Palette, I don't know, um, as well from Beautylish because I can't just order one thing, you know, I have to place multiple items in my basket. <laughs> so this is the Northern Lights. Um, I have a couple of the Skin Supreme Frost um, singles, but this palette just looks stunning if I could freaking open it. Oh, there we go. It's huge. You get a huge mirror and then six pans. So it's not anything new, but you know, at first I was like, no, I'm not gonna pass. I'm not gonna wear all those colors. But then like looking at them, I'm like, 
Like, three of them I could wear as highlighters, I think. And then the other three can just be pretty, like, eyeshadows. Of course, like the Fenty. Um, yeah, so I was just like, I really wanted to try this Alaska, Alaskan Ice and that... That one I can't read thought thought out. Um, I think the lavender there, Arctic Sky is really pretty in the bottom. So yeah, I was just like, get the palette, and then you'll have no regrets. Um, oh, and one other thing from Beautylish is one of the Sonia G face brushes. So she released the set, and I was like, oh my god, I can't spend over two hundred dollars on a bunch of brushes, even though I want to. Um, and I already have some of her face brushes, but these are the newer face brushes. And so I just, and then she released them as individual singles, and I was like, I want to buy like three of them, but you shouldn't. So I just bought one. I don't even know. It's the Detail Pro, Pro brush. So it's this like smaller kind of brush head. I think it would be really pretty for like highlighter. And I think it's a little bit too big for eyeshadow for me. Um, but yeah, highlighter or concealer, I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to get one of those, so I got that one. And then I have a couple MAC items. So this I got from my friend Susie, who I did the giveaway, give, one of the accounts I did the giveaway with. Um, this collection hasn't released in the U.S. We believe it's releasing maybe next week or so. I think it was early June. But it had already released in the U.K. And she has a connection over there. So she managed to order some stuff. And I was just like, yeah, just, you know, place an order for me. Because who knows if it will sell out right away or not here. And I just want to make sure I have, you know, a couple pieces in my collection. And I don't, I don't even know what this collection is called. But, oh, Electric Wonder electric wonder collection but it's the pink marble um packaging and i got the highlighter and a lipstick this is serenity seeker so i just think the packaging is really pretty with that pink marble and gold and the highlighter itself is really pretty too and that gold swirl pattern there marble um somebody said these were the same as the star trek collection but I don't know I didn't get anything from there so I got that and I also got the lipstick but heck if I know where I put that so anyway the lipstick is somewhere um maybe I featured it in my last month's video I don't really remember when I got it specifically um but yes thank you so much Susie for helping me get that powder as well. And she also helped me get this when she was on vacation in Florida. Um, it's the Lancome, uh, I don't know, La, La Absolute Tone Up Balm Coral Marble. So it's just more marble, pink marble packaging. And I hesitated on this because I was like, oh, you know, you'll eventually be able to get it down the road maybe when there's better ebates or a sale going on but no it sold out like right away like all three shades um the department stores everything but she saw that the bloomingdales down in florida had some in stock so she picked me up one since i missed out and it's this coral marble design on that so it smells like perfume but yeah it's just so pretty and I love the collectible limited edition packaging um where to go next this Shantikai uh, who is this shit I don't remember it's some some of oh, de Gournay I don't know it's beautiful limited um, a British wallpaper house de Gournay okay that makes sense so this is the prettiest Shantikai item I've ever purchased or have in my collection. It beats out the Positano, Italian Positano um, collection last summer. I, I thought those pack, that packaging and the powder itself was gorgeous on those, but this is just so stunning. I'm just, I mean, it's so expensive, but I love having this beauty in my collection and the packaging itself, the whole little box and everything, it's just, ugh. And then the little compact, and ugh, wait until you see the powder. Ugh, I don't want to ruin it. I would just die. Look at that. 
that beautiful bird on the branch and flower and leaves and oh you just see that iridescence and I just want to freaking run my finger right through it but mm -mm. how could anybody use that how can you ruin that how it's just so pretty oh, I, I give props to Michelle Wong and Tara babies they they they'll go ahead and swatch it and use it and ruin it and oh I just I can't I can't unless I think Tara baby sometimes buys a backup because she doesn't want to ruin one of them but I I did that for a few items at first and I was just like no no my my budget my wallet cannot afford that definitely so that will just stay forever untouched in my collection I picked up this um Becca bronzer it's nothing new from Ulta because it was like 40% off and I have been loving my Becca bronzer this whole year I guess I've just been using that bronzer pretty much and starting to get a good um, dip in it and so when it was on sale I got another shade Bali Sands so the little copper packaging um, I think the shade I have is Capri Coast yeah Capri Coast and that while I love it and I'm wearing it today um, I feel like sometimes it can look a little warm on my skin tone a little bit leaning towards orangey but not really um, so bronze no Bali Sands is I think the shade lighter than this so I just thought you know it's on sale I'm loving that bronzer let me just get it and it's it kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Milk Chocolate uh, Soleil bronzer but yeah I was just like get a shade lighter so if you want something a little bit more more neutral color you have that and it's you know such a good price um oh and then I got the Rodan um illuminating powder this is the packaging for this year's collection yes last year they did a stunning powder with a mermaid and seashells and whatnot and I was just oh that was gorgeous too and this year <laughs> It's not as pretty as last year's, in my opinion, but I just had to get it because, you know, it's different and unique to my collection. And that is the out. I love the clear acrylic, acrylic packaging because then you could see it. You could see it in your drawer, what it looks like. But this is, this year's, it's kind of like a abstract face with hearts for cheeks and big lips and I don't know and a sun in the center of his forehead um I think it's kind of ugly I posted it on Instagram I'm like yeah this is kind of ugly phase and kind of creepy but you know it's something different so the collector in me wanted it and oh god I can't remember I think I got this from Bloomingdale's, but I finally got the Chanel Soleil Tan, yeah, Soleil Tan, Tan de Chanel bronzer. Oh my God, everybody loves this bronzer. I have had my eye on it for at least a year and I'm like, you don't need another bronzer. You don't need to spend that much on a bronzer, blah, blah, blah. Bloomingdale's, I think this was also during the Ebates anniversary week. So it was like another 15% off or whatever. And I was like, I'm getting it. And usually around this time of year, I'll just like suddenly have like 20 new bronzers because it's summer and people are pushing bronzers down your throat. And I was just like, okay, I did get that Becca one and the La Mer. In the girl on okay well anyway bronzers that I would actually use and not keep as untouchables <laughs> I will have like so many new ones and this one I'll use I plan to use it if I can bring myself to to mar the surface of that gorgeous swirl pattern that is just so perfect in the container that everybody captions and does a texture Tuesday post on which I did of course and it's just it's just, oh, I just want to lick it. I just want to dip my nose in it. It has that Chanel scent, which I don't mind. It's kind, of, it's kind of a shallow container, so I don't think you get too, too much product. Um, one ounce, yeah, one ounce of product. But I hear it like lasts a while. I wasn't, what hesitated me, what made me hesitate is I wasn't sure 
really what the shade will look like um, because it does kind of look like a little orangey in there but people say it's not as dark as it looks that it really does just like blend out and buff out to a nice bronze glow so I cannot wait to use this and I'm going to use it I'm not gonna just have it sit in my drawer after spending that money um, <laughs> So if you've also seen one of my past little vlog videos of my MAC rant, the Aladdin collab, collab collection um, I had my eye on since I heard about its release. I could not wait to get my hands on it. I, fe I felt like it was going to sell out super fast. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous collection. And, you know, the whole Disney collabs with ColourPop and everybody just is a huge market and it's just you know appeals to many you know makeup lovers and aficionados so i did a little rant because when it, it released early for i don't know it's obsessed members or some something and you so i went online it picked out all the individual items i wanted and then i saw that you could get a collector's vault so i was like Sweet, just like the Urban Decay Game of Thrones vault. Yes, I want that. So I was three hundred and ten dollars. I ordered it. I'm like, it didn't have a big picture of what it looked like. It was a complete surprise that they were re releasing this vault. And I was like, awesome. I'm gonna try and resell that because the Game of Thrones vaults just sold like hotcakes. Um, and I'll just keep you know the individual pieces for myself. It got here in two two days, I think. So that was really nice. And the vault was no no collector's vault. It was all the pieces of the Aladdin collection just placed in a clear plastic bag bundled together. What says collector's vault with a clear plastic bag? Um, so yeah, I thought they were being very shady, very deceiving and trying to just fool their customers and make us feel stupid. And guess what? I'm sure they got a ton of returns back and I'm sure that makeup got tossed because they don't know if I opened it or spit on it or breathed on it or sneezed on it or whatnot. How, how are they supposed to know? So I'm sure it got thrown away and it was such a freaking waste and they just should have been more um, direct and tell people. I mean, I know there wasn't a picture of some grand collector's vault like the Game of Thrones, but when you say collector's vault, coming shortly after that Game of Thrones collection, we expect, you know, some nice PR box and packaging and whatnot. And they just, I felt like we're purposely trying to fool us. So that went back, needless to say, and I just kept the little pieces that I did get for myself. I mean, the packaging is stunning. I love it. It's very, you know, Morocco vibes and always one jump ahead and just a pretty genie bottle on there I got the eyeshadow palette in this packaging I think the colors of the palette are pretty I normally don't get the eyeshadow palettes but thought these were really pretty and I like the little design on there and I got two lipsticks peacock feathers turquoise this is the shade princess incognito and Raja. Pretty red. Has anybody seen the Aladdin movie? Um, I'm not too interested to see it. <laughs> and I don't think it got very good reviews. But maybe when it comes out to Netflix or Rent or something, maybe then I'll see it. I probably will see The Lion King when that comes out. They should do a collection. Um, anyway, so those were the MAC pieces I bought from the collection, and they threw in a little lip primer, which I won't use, and this little lipstick K2 
case, I think, for brushes or whatnot. So that was nice, freebies. Um, so I placed an order on Stila because I think they were having friends and family discount 25% off or something. And I got their new eyeshadow palettes. They released these two large eyeshadow palettes um, recently. And I love Stila eyeshadows. I told you as singles, I always like used to go for the singles um, and their liquid eyeshadows of course are amazing. Um, so when I saw these larger palettes, I was like, oh, that looks gorgeous and I probably want it. But then I was like, the price tag was like $60. And I was like, oh no, not for that price. Um, I mean, it is kind of an okay price for what you're getting 12 shades, 12 shadows, and what individually they're like 20 something dollars a piece. So I ended up getting the palette that I wasn't, didn't think I would get. I thought I would get the one with the green shade in it because, of course, it had that green shade, and I was like, oh, I need that. But I actually, I don't know, after looking at this one, this one's called the Happy, Happy Hour palette. I was just like, these shades are more unique and different for me so I'll get this one oops the box just dropped so yeah I just think those beautiful jewel tones and shimmers are just gorgeous so like I said it was 25% off and so I was like okay I'll get it and you know I swatched it in store and I think it swatched really nice um I did see though although it was too late Tara Baby's got both palettes I want to say and she said the mattes in them really just are terrible she said she was so unhappy with the look that she made with it they were just like they swatch okay but when you go to use them they just are horrible to work with and a mess which really is surprising because like I said I love their singles so that's kind of disappointing but you never know I'm not like as talented as she is so um we'll try it we'll see see if I could come up with a nice look with that oh so so much more I'm sorry guys um but who doesn't love a haul I, I personally can just watch haul after haul after haul because I just love seeing what people get and buy and what made them buy it and just living vicariously through their collection that way <laughs> so three of these eyeshadows I got from Japan um, with my order it's the brand Misha I don't know if it's a Korean brand or what but it's not available or easily available here in the US Misha M I S S H A and they're these beautiful kind of oh no um they remind me of the Huda Beauty new nude um formula they had like those three pans in the new nude palette that's like it has these like you know like white kind of flecks in them so I just thought they were really pretty and I want to try them I saw somebody on Instagram I think I think she lives in Asia so I think um, she had these and I was just like oh my god I need to get those so I asked Toshia if he can get those and they were pretty affordable can't for the life of me remember how much they were but you know a little bit less than the average price for a single shadow so got these three and they're just so gorgeous they look like foiled um like wrapping paper or something <laughs> so I can't wait to try those but with any Asian makeup I feel like they're not super pigmented at least in the photos of the of the pictures of the women using these they're very like kind of that sheer kind of shimmery color, um, not like super dark and pigmented. Um, Sephora and Ulta were having these amazing like gifts with purchases. Um, what did I get? I mean, some of the stuff I got were like the Kuda Beauty Kayali perfume sampler, um, which I was so happy to see that I could try these because I'm really interested in buying one of them full size, but I didn't know which scent I would like. And now I have a little sampler of all four scents and I pretty much like all of them. So I really can't decide which one I want to try. So that was like a, a Sephora gift with purchase, this little buxom new cereal kisser lip, lip stain and pucker up dolly. 
It was a little gift with purchase, I think, from Ulta. Um, I got my Sephora Play Box, and it actually matched what it said I was going to get in my email, so that was a first. Um, so I got the apple cider hair rinse. I don't know. We'll see about that. I got the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. I've heard so many people say how they hate this scent. It smells like just butter, like melted butter. And it definitely does have a butter smell. I could smell it outside the container. Um, so I don't know. Do I do I open it and try it and just smell like a movie theater? Or do I sell it on Mercari? I don't, I'm not sure. I got a little Caroline, Carolina Herrera uh, Good Girl perfume sample. I have a Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Manic. I won't show it every single thing. Oh, I got this Kopari coconut toothpaste, so I'm interested to try that. I'm not the hugest coconut fan. I don't like the flavor or taste or anything coconut flavor. But I don't I don't mind the scent. So, since I'm not eating the toothpaste, we'll see if I like it. <laughs> um, this Elemis Superfood Black Current Jelly Exfoliator that sounded interesting. Oops. Rolling off there. Patchology Calming Tea Infused Aromatherapy Eye Gel. So tea infused. That sounds interesting too. A Kanuka. Is that how you say it? Kanuka. CBD Hydrating Lip Balm. I've heard of this brand. And I don't. I haven't tried many products with CBD oil. So I'm interested to try that. Even though I don't need another lip balm. Oh. I went to the Nordstrom Rack in Vegas. Because um, we don't have anything like that here. And I was happy to see they actually did have a okay beauty sale section. Um, they had a lot of Urban Decay, um, some Lorac, and then Laura Mercier and some MAC. So I picked up one of the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Crowns in Peacock. This beautiful shimmery aqua color there. Um... I love these crowns. They're so easy, even though I need to remember to reach for mine more. And I almost bought another shade in jungle, which was like, you know, a jungle green. I was just like, it was, it was affordable. It was half off their sales price, so it was $15. But I was like, Lizzie, you don't need another jungle green eyeshadow stick because I have a few already. Just get the shade that you don't have already, so... I only stuck to the one. Um, and then I placed another Ulta order. And I got these Milani, what are they? Hypnotic Lights Eye Toppers. So liquid eyeshadows. So I'm interested to see how they compare to the Stila ones. Because um, these are more affordable. I think even Tara Babies mentioned these as well. And how they don't dry out as easily because they're like the circular screw top rather than the square. So I got the shades Electric Forest and Luster Light. So this beautiful green shimmery shade. And this kind of champagne pink shift kind of shade. So we'll see how those compare to the Stila ones. And I have been really liking cream products lately. Um, I'll probably do a video like that of my favorite cream products for, for the summer. And so I've been eyeing the nude the new nude sticks, um, blush, blush and glow sticks or something like that. I didn't get one of those because I was like, mm, you're already oily. You don't need like a glowy blush. Um, so, but I did get one of the matte ones and let me find it here. So I just kind of went crazy with the cream products with nude sticks. Um, yeah, this is the matte face lip and eye. So you could use it anywhere on your face pretty much in the shade Naughty and Spice. So it's like a pretty dusty rose shade there. And I like that they have a brush at the end so you can like buff it out with that. I don't like the tin packaging like somebody else on Instagram mentioned how it's so wasteful I mean I like that it has a mirror so it's easy for like on the go but I don't carry I'm not gonna put this stick in the tin and put that in my purse to carry it with me now so that's kind of a waste for every single packaging that they do I also got their Illuminati health glow 
highlighter stick. I don't really need another highlighter stick, but it's kind of like a pearly opalescent pink shift shade. Just gorgeous. Just like I said, I can't place an order for just one item. And I also got their eye magnetic eye color pencil in the shade Queen Olive. So see, I didn't need that jungle Laura Mercier stick because I got this one here, if, if I can open it. And it's just their eye pencil in this olive khaki gold green color in there. So that was from Ulta. I'm not done yet, I know. Long video, sorry guys, stay with me. I also got this from Ulta. It was a Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution in Balance and Calm with Matcha Green Tea. So I love matcha. Why not bathe in it? So got some of those. And I heard Dr. Teal's is really nice. I haven't, I don't think I've tried their brand before. Um, whenever I want to take a bath. Oh, I also got this from the Nordstrom Rack. Um, one of the Dr. Jart face mask, pore, pore recting solution face mask. They had another one I wanted to try, but it had all kind of sticky stuff on the packaging, and so that just was like annoying, so I said no to that. Um, okay, final, final few items. On Mercari, somebody was selling this NARS palette, brand new. I, I'm hoping it's authentic, but it, it, I mean, it looks authentic to me. Um, for really cheap, plus I had a credit on Mercari, so it made it even cheaper. Um, it's the Hot Nights face palette, so I think this face, I haven't bought a NARS palette in forever too, I think since the holiday collection. So this one just looks stunning, but I figured you don't really need it because you have all those shades anyway, but this was the one I was most drawn to because of the pretty, um, purple and wine shades over there and oh, it just looks gorgeous um the other one the other palette shade was a little bit more neutral but like I said it was really cheap and everybody's been loving these palettes so I'm like score for me getting that discounted and okay oh I ordered also from Ulta also during when Too Faced was having the five times the points, their new uh, additions to their fruity, fruity juice, tutti fruity collection. Um, I was not gonna get this cause I was like, these shades just look glittery and probably won't even wear the two on the right, whatever. But then I saw the adorable ice cream packaging. Hello, hello. <sighs> it's just so cute. So cute. So I got it. And I didn't use points on it. I just, like I said, I'm trying to rack up the points for a big haul, um, even though this is a massive haul. Um, yeah, so I think that's just adorable with the ice cream. And of course I had to get some of their new blushes because I love the pack, well, I love the packaging. And I love these blushes anyway. So I got berries and bubbly and the cute little champagne glasses. Kind of soft pink color there and I got the watermelon one like my melons ha 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 and this is kind of a brighter pop of pink I really like the other shade too but I thought in the swatches it looked pretty similar to this one so I was like okay just get those two that's all you need um so that was from Ulta and then last was this order that just came today from Sephora I know the Sephora sale just happened, but they were having that promo gift with purchase where you get like those five deluxe size beauty samples. And so I was like, yeah, just get these items. And they were having a really good Memorial Day sale, which I was not expecting. Um, oh my God, they had like the Natasha Denona palettes and, well, some of them. And... Pat McGrath palettes like half off or well the, the Natasha Denona ones were like $30 off but they were all the ones I already have of course so I was so so annoyed that I couldn't capitalize on those sale prices 
but you know, I've had them for like six months. <laughs> so anyway, they were having some really good deals. Um, so I picked this up. This was the Becca and Chrissy Teigen lip gloss, um, Endless Summer Glow. And I swatched these in stores and I thought they were really pretty, but I was like, no, you don't need another gloss. But yeah, when it's on sale, sure, why not? This is the shade Malibu Solil. So just like a rose pink shade. And I really like that formula. And then I got one of my favorite eye liners by Lancome, the Drama Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. And this is the shade Parisian Night. Ooh, cloud just went by. It's kind of early evening here, so it's not my usual filming time in the bright sunlight. So this is the Lancome, and it's like a midnight navy blue shade. And these pencils are just amazing. So it was half off, which is a bargain. And I wanted a few more colors, but I already have like so many, I really don't need it. Um, I picked up the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta, Al Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel, um, just a mini pack. I think there's, yeah, five treatments of these. Um, I had a couple samples of these and even just using those like for a couple days like I really did notice a difference in my skin um, with the texture and breakouts and lately I want to say the past couple of weeks I have been getting these tiny under the skin pimples like all along my jaw my cheek I'm sorry my jaw my chin um, a couple on my upper lip and it's just so freaking annoying I don't know what is causing them I didn't really change much in my skincare routine I've washed my brushes and beauty blender and everything, so I just, I have no idea what what's making me break out. And they're just like these little pimples that aren't at the surface and are not ready to pop or anything, so it's just annoying, annoying the crap out of me. So, so maybe these will help, we'll see. And last, very, very last thing, yes, I'm looking around, making sure. Last, I got the Kaja Moon Crystal Liquid Eyeshadows. I was gonna get these during the sale, and then I was like, Lizzie, you don't need another liquid eyeshadow that you don't even use. Um, but then everybody was raving about these, specifically Terra Babies. Um, and they just look so pretty, so I was like, okay, just get two of them. <laughs> just get two of them, right? Um, even though it's not the sale anymore. <laughs> and so I got the shade Moon Crystal, which is like this kind of goldish brown taupe shade. And the shade Magic, which is supposed to be like this purpley shift blue shift there. So I heard you only need like a tiny dot on your finger and um, it covers your whole eye. So yes, this was a very long video, almost an hour long. I appreciate if you stayed till the end. Thank you so much. And yeah, my monthly hauls maybe are just going to be a little bit long now. <laughs> like I said, I have a few more orders coming, but, you know, I tend to purchase stuff to also sell on my Mercari, so it's not just, like, all for me, even though this whole shitload was for me. Um, but, yeah, so some of the purchases coming are for my my. my, my uh, my Mercari. So if you want to check out my page there and see what I have for sale, that it's linked in my profile somewhere. Um, and yeah, so until next month's haul and some more videos in between, thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this and give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post videos. You know, I try to post two or three times a week, but we'll see. Thanks again. Bye guys.